Ladies and gentlemen, gather around the hearth and join us for a splendid treat this Christmas season. Step into the enchanting world of the vintage radio channel, where magic and tales come alive through the power of speech. This festive season, we're delighted to introduce something truly special, the Talkies Christmas Spectacular. Yes, you heard it right. No music, just pure, unadulterated storytelling to whisk you away on a nostalgic journey. Picture this, a cozy setting, crackling fireplaces, and the anticipation of stories and poems filling the air, transporting you back to those cherished days when radio shows were the highlight of the season. Imagine sitting by the radio, wrapped in blankets, sipping on hot cocoa, waiting eagerly for tales of wonder and mirth. From heartwarming tales of holiday cheer to spine-tingling mysteries, our lineup is brimming with captivating narratives that will ignite the festive spirit within you. You'll be on the edge of your seat as we present thrilling adventures and charming anecdotes, all brought to life by the power of voice and imagination. Join us for a talk-only experience that will leave you feeling like a child again, eagerly waiting for your favorite radio show to begin. It's an evening of delight, a celebration of tradition, and a reminder of the magic that lies within the spoken word. So tune in and let the talkies Christmas Spectacular become a cherished part of your holiday festivities. Prepare to be transported to a world where imagination reigns supreme and the joy of Christmas knows no bounds. Only on the Vintage Radio Channel bringing back the essence of Christmas through the art of storytelling. Gather around, dear listeners, for the first of our cherished Christmas tales. Close your eyes and let the echoes of yesteryears carry you to a quaint village nestled in the snow-laden hills. Our story begins with a humble yet heartwarming tale, a tale of friendship, kindness, and the true essence of the season. Join us as we embark on a journey to discover the magic of Timothy's Christmas wish. Once upon a time, in a quaint little town nestled amid snow-covered hills, there lived a young boy named Timothy. It was Christmas Eve, and the air was filled with an enchanting sense of anticipation. Timothy, wide-eyed and full of wonder, sat by the fireplace, gazing at the twinkling lights adorning the tree. Now, Timothy was a spirited lad, always brimming with curiosity. He had heard tales of Santa Claus and his magical sleigh that traversed the skies, delivering joy and gifts to all the children. But this year, Timothy harbored a special wish, one that lay close to his heart. As the clock chimed midnight, Timothy tiptoed to the window, peering out into the starry night. And lo and behold, amidst the snowy landscape, he spotted something extraordinary. A glimmering sleigh pulled by reindeer, led by none other than Santa himself. Oh! Merry Christmas, Timothy. I've heard your wish and have come to fulfill it. Timothy's heart danced with joy as Santa beckoned him outside. The magical sleigh landed softly in the snow and Timothy, wide-eyed and filled with awe, hopped aboard. They soared through the velvety night sky, passing over towns and villages aglow with Christmas lights. Timothy's laughter echoed as they journeyed through the stars, sharing tales and exchanging merriment. Finally, they landed atop a snow-capped mountain, blanketed by the shimmering northern lights. Santa, with a twinkle in his eye, presented Timothy with a special gift, a book bound in glistening gold. As Timothy opened the book, Words of wisdom and warmth flowed from its pages, weaving tales of kindness, love, and the true spirit of Christmas. With a heart brimming with gratitude, Timothy hugged Santa tightly. Thank you for this wonderful journey and the precious gift, he exclaimed. Remember, Timothy, the magic of Christmas lies within you. Spread joy, kindness, and love wherever you go. And with that, the sleigh whisked away into the night sky leaving Timothy nestled by the fireplace, clutching the golden book close to his heart. Now join us as we delve into the vivid imagery, painted by Clement Clark Moore's words, inviting you to envision a snowy landscape, a bustling home, and the arrival of a certain jolly figure with his eight tiny reindeer. So sit back, close your eyes, and let the power of storytelling transport you to a world where the air is thick with excitement and the spirit of Christmas dances in every line. Without further ado, let us begin the enchanting tale of it was the night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. 
The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Dixon. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then... In a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. And with that the tale ends, leaving the air filled with the enchantment of Christmas Eve. Uh, the magic woven by it was the night before Christmas never fails to ignite the holiday spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of the season, allow me to share with you a timeless piece that resonates with the essence of Christmas. Here is Christmas Bells by the renowned Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, a poem that captures the profound emotions and reflections of the holiday season. I heard the bells on Christmas Day, their old familiar carols play and wild and sweet. The words repeat, of peace on earth, goodwill to men, and thought how, as the day had come, the belfries of all Christendom had rolled along the unbroken song of peace on earth, goodwill to men, till ringing, singing on its way, the world revolved. From night to day, a voice, a chime, a chant sublime of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Then from each black accursed mouth, the cannon thundered in the south, and with the sound, the carols drowned of peace on earth, goodwill to men. It was as if an earthquake rent the hearthstones of a continent and made forlorn the households born of peace on earth, goodwill to men. And in despair, I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said, for hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Then pealed the bells, more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. With peace on earth, goodwill to men. In these verses, Longfellow encapsulates the hope, despair, and enduring belief in the power of goodness, even amidst tumultuous times. May these words resonate within our hearts, reminding us of the enduring message of peace and goodwill. Thank you for joining us in this rendition of Christmas Bells. As the embers of our Christmas stories begin to settle, it's time to bid adieu to this enchanting evening. 
We hope the Talkies Christmas Spectacular has kindled the fires of nostalgia and filled your hearts with the spirit of the season. Remember, dear listeners, that the magic of Christmas lives not only in these stories, but in the kindness we share, the love we give, and the joy we bring to others. May these tales linger in your thoughts, weaving their warmth into the fabric of your holiday memories. From all of us at the Vintage Radio Channel, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a season filled with laughter, love, and the timeless enchantment of storytelling. Until we meet again by the crackling fire of our next broadcast, keep the spirit of Christmas alive in your hearts and let the magic of the season guide your way. <laughs>